about 18 years ago, we began a project that came to be known as Meridian's Union Station Project. It was the first multimodal transportation center in the southeast, one of the first in the country, bringing Amtrak, Trailways, Greyhound, city transit service, taxi service, airport connections, all together in one facility in the downtown. It was as much about economic development and restoration of a historic downtown as it was about transportation. Uh, the city put a million three into a seven and a half million dollar facility. Uh, much of the rest of it was iced tea money, but that million three today is leveraged over a hundred and thirty five million dollars of additional public private sector investment within three blocks of that facility. Midway through our Union Station project, um, Amtrak announced that they were going to cut all rail service south of Atlanta from seven days a week to three days a week. Well, that was going to hit Meridian right in the heart. Um, I organized the mayors from Atlanta to New Orleans to come to D.C. and find out what could be done about this. Um, from that effort, uh, Senator Trent Lott, my senator, became a champion for a national passenger rail system that certainly serves the Northeast, but it also serves Mississippi. And he and Frank Lautenberg, a liberal Democrat from the Northeast and a conservative Republican from the Deep South, teamed together uh, with other senators to solve a transportation issue, which had a different face in each one of their states, but they came together uh, and didn't let political boundaries separate them. Senators have to have a reason to care. They, they, they care about air service. They take air service. Most don't ride the train out of the Northeast Corridor, but when they hear the voice of their constituents, the elderly who can only travel by rail, the single parent with children going to visit their grandmother out of town, the uh, citizens with special uh, needs that can only travel uh, comfortably and meaningfully by rail. When they hear their voices and look into their eyes, they can't tell them, no, you don't deserve this as well.